well, after that, <laughs> quite spending quite a few time, I assembled everything and I realized that this RCA connector has a soldering issue, so I had to remove the back cover. Now I will be removing the board to solder it. So I need to pull these connectors up to be able to remove it. Same like here. This one. This one doesn't want it to go so such easy. Okay, one, well, other. Removing the cable like that. Removing two other cables. It goes to the heads. So actually, the sound is really good from this deck. I understand why so many people did love it. But the build quality is probably the worst I've seen so far. Even cheap Sony decks can, can give like some run for this deck. Maybe it's easy to disassemble, but imagine like uh, including all issues we had with uh, tape transport, that all audio signals, absolutely, are going uh, through these black connectors here. And those are oxidized and we get an issue. So uh, next, uh, buttons which control the deck again like those are like to minimize the number of lines they use it resistors so each button would produce a different voltage and like the same we have connectors between those two boards either so i expect that there is one more thing needs to be deoxidized so and these connectors these are CAs, so they just solder it. So it has a hard connection. Let me see if there is any crack in the board. And just a little, we will need to use a more powerful iron. Yeah, here is a crack around this ground pin. That's why it was uh, screaming so loud. Take a look yourself. So this ground pin, around it, the solder is just broken. So there is a crack. I will solder it and it will stop screaming into the speakers when we connect in our amplifier. Oh. These connectors, it's, it's, it's something. Well, we're waiting. Probably we'll take a look into the other board. So we have one screw here. And that's it.
and just remove it from the deck. I didn't fix it yet. Let's remove power supply. This large knob sits on the plate on this board here. And this we need to unscrew, I believe. No, it sits on two connectors on this board, really. Technics is just too many connectors, really. And just too much. That's why everything is so unreliable. Yeah, here we go. See how many more connectors here. One, two, three, four, five. So I will to oxidize this scissor. Otherwise, I, I, I just don't know how to fix it properly so it didn't break all the time. One little deck, so many problems. <laughs> uh, just like to scream out and cry. Right, so now we have to get properly into uh, three dozens of different small holes. Assemble it back. Okay. So we just reassembled five connectors. Why not to install these connectors on the, the board? 
is a flexible virus. I bet we fixed it. Uh, well, it's the same that I've been like uh, deoxidize these connectors one more time. assembly time put the front piece back okay from each side done Would not screw it yet because I'm not sure if button issue is gone. But let's install the board. Back again, like four connectors between audio board and control board. It's very like, I don't like so many connectors, like about 40 lines. Attaching heads. Power connectors. Mostly easy to install because each hole for the screw is marked with the screw sign. So 
you would not lost your positions. Okay, assemble it. Let's try this guy again and see if it will perform better. It's been 15 minutes. I will make it another part. Thank you.